I would like to start today's video with the discussion of the phrase, miracles don't happen. After all, we hear it so often that we actually begin to believe it, although each of us needs some kind of miracle once in a while. A miracle that can turn our entire consciousness and make us believe in things that may seem impossible at first glance. Jumping ahead, I'll just say that sometimes the events that happen in our life cannot be explained by science. And what's your take on this issue? Be sure to share your opinion after watching this video. Doug and Melanie Pritchard were a happily married couple who'd been raising their first child for several years. The woman enjoyed motherhood immensely, and therefore, when the question of having a second child came up, the couple had no doubts. To the family's delight, the pregnancy was going well without any complications or abnormalities. Besides, the mother was very responsible about her pregnancy and regularly visited the local hospital. It was a standard situation in general, and nothing bode ill, or at least so it was, until the moment when Melanie started having contractions and was taken to the hospital. Once at the hospital, the woman in labor suddenly felt worse, complaining of terrible nausea and dizziness. Even though everyone was sure that she was just feeling nervous before labor, the doctor still conducted a quick exam, which confirmed that the mother and her baby were doing great. That's when everyone should have calmed down, but as it turned out, it was just the beginning. The fact was that Melanie was at a loss. She couldn't understand what was happening to her. Her condition worsened with every minute, and she soon started getting seizures. Of course, the doctor tried to stop them, but in literally just a moment, all the sensors that were connected to the woman lit up with bright red colors, and an alarm sounded in the ward, indicating that the patient was in critical condition. By the time the doctors arrived, all that was left for them to do was to record the mother's cardiac arrest caused by amniotic embolism. Simply put, this meant that the amniotic fluid got into the mother's bloodstream, causing a lightning-fast shock reaction and poor blood clotting. This occurs once in 50,000 cases, and of course, none of the staff had ever seen this before. All they could do was immediately send Melanie into emergency surgery in order to at least save her baby. At that moment, real chaos ensued at the hospital, while Melanie's husband watched in despair, realizing that he had lost the love of his life, all the while being unable to do anything to help. The newborn girl would have probably never gotten to see her mother, whom the doctors were unable to resuscitate and have even declared dead already. But that's when strange things started happening. Things that never happened in the history of medicine before that day. By all indications, my wife was dead, and the first thought that flashed through my head was that there was no chance she'd come back, and that I was a widower now, said Doug. All this time, he was surrounded by relatives who came by to greet the happy mother and the newborn baby but he couldn't find a place for himself in the entire maternity ward. The attending physician had already prepared the Pritchard family for the worst by allowing those close to Melanie to come in and say goodbye. They were still unsuccessfully trying to start her heart when Doug leaned over to kiss his wife and whispered one short sentence in her ear. If you have any fight left in you, then fight. Of course, no one expected that some kind of miracle would happen, and after saying goodbye to his wife mentally, Doug couldn't even imagine how timely his words would be. After all, as it turned out later, being all alone between two worlds, Melanie heard them, and it was then that the miracle happened. The doctors were shocked when the woman's heart began to beat again, which meant that she was alive, but nevertheless, they immediately warned the husband that it was too early to rejoice. The thing was that her heart wasn't beating for too long, which meant that the brain damage would be significant. Besides, Melanie was still unconscious and in critical condition. She did come to her senses for the long 24 hours and Doug was outside her door all this time. It may be difficult to believe, but after all that happened, Melanie opened her eyes. The first thing she said was her husband's name, and at that point, Doug was ready to believe in the existence of any kind of higher force. Since just recently, the doctors shrugged their shoulders, saying that his wife might never wake up. But she did, and the man immediately showed Melanie a photograph of their newborn daughter, Gabriella. Surprisingly, it seemed as if the woman hadn't yet realized what was happening around and got charged with an unknown impulse. Just two hours later, she already managed to restore her breathing without any help from machines and even talked to her family, who couldn't believe that a miracle really did happen. By the way, even the doctors ended up having to believe that it was a miracle, because contrary to their predictions that Melanie would definitely need a transplant and that her brain would never be the same, the patient monitors had a different opinion. And be that as it may, after some seven days, without resorting to any drugs, the happy mother of two children was discharged from the hospital and got to go home. We don't have the words to describe our happiness, and even despite the doctor's attempts to find a logical explanation of this phenomenon, we are confident that it was a real miracle, the family later said in an interview. Today, the Pritchards are raising two beautiful children, having almost forgotten about that incredible incident at the hospital. 
However, there is no doubt that as soon as Gabriella decides to learn the story of her birth, she will definitely have something to be surprised about, because no one can really explain what happened that day.